Are you ready to decorate a home you love but aren't sure where to start? These eight simple tips will help you find your own personal home decor style. Hey everybody, I'm Coral and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, click that subscribe button down below and hit the bell for new videos every week. When you're decorating your home, you want to show off your own style and personality. There are a lot of home decor styles out there and people get bogged down in trying to decorate to one specific style. I personally feel like that's the wrong way to go. If you can find your own personal design style, you can pick and choose what you like from the other design styles out there and create a home that is uniquely you. Following these eight simple steps will help you discover your own home decor style. Tip number one is find inspiration online. Browse online pictures and images to find different styles that you like and give you some different ideas. Pinterest is a great place to do this. If you start gathering different home decor images that you like, as you start scanning the board, you'll notice similarities and different things will pop out to you that will help you realize what you really like when you're looking at home decor. Instagram is another great place to do this. The Instagram collections is a great place to store a collection of different pictures of home decor that you like from different stores or influencers or just any home decor pictures that you see. Step number two is find inspiration in stores. Go shopping with the intention of just going to find inspiration and things that you like. Some of my favorite stores to do this in are Kirkland's and Pottery Barn. They make great collections of their products and put them on display and kind of make them look like they're put together in a room. It always looks really nice and I always find myself finding things that I really like in those stores. When I'm going to the store for inspiration, I just take pictures of the different things that I really like and then I will save them in my phone. This helps me get inspiration for what I like and it helps me decide if I really like certain products that I want to buy and have for my home. As you're taking pictures of these things in stores, save them to an album on your phone. That way you can go back and refer back to them later and maybe some of the things that you took pictures of you might actually want to buy and use as home decor in your home later. Step number three is create a home color palette. Creating a whole home color palette is such an important step whenever you start decorating your home, but it can also be a really useful tool to help you discover the style and the different colors that you want to use when decorating your home. I have a free crash course that teaches you the exact steps that you need in order to create a color palette for your home. Stay tuned till the end of the video and I'll tell you how to get that. The next step is buy an anchor piece. If you find an item or a piece of furniture that you really love, buy that and use it as inspiration for decorating the rest of your home. You can take the style and coloring of that piece and then decorate your home in items of similar style. This is commonly done with a piece of furniture, but it can also be done with smaller decor items like pillows, throws, or bedding. I did this in my house with my TV stand. I found a TV stand that I absolutely loved, and then I used that style and the same coloring in order to start adding that type of decor to the rest of my house. Step number five is look at what you already have in your home. Take a look around your house and find the items or pieces of furniture that you have that you already really love. This is a style that you already like. So ask yourself, what do you like about this piece? Is it the coloring? Is it the style? Is it the way it was made? When you can figure out what you like about those pieces that you already have and already decorate with in your home, you can find similar pieces to decorate throughout the rest of your home with. Think about how you can incorporate items of a similar style or create a similar look in a different room of your house. Step number six is look at your friends' houses. When you're visiting your friends' homes or looking at their social media and you see something that you really like, stop and take a moment to figure out what it is that you really like about that piece of furniture or decor. You can even go as far as asking them where they got it. You can incorporate a similar piece into your home decor as well. And if they don't mind, you can also take a picture of it. 
I did something similar to this when I visited my friend's house. I absolutely loved the tray that she had on her coffee table as well as the decor that she had on it. So I used that as inspiration when decorating some other areas of my home and when creating my own coffee table tray. Step number seven is think about your dream home. So take a moment and imagine your dream home. What does it look like? What kind of furniture is there? What kind of colors do you use to decorate it? What kind of style do you see in that house? You can use the answers to these questions to help figure out the style that you really like or that you would like to have in your home and then start decorating in a similar style in your house. You can also create a dream home board on Pinterest or in your Instagram collections and start collecting images that remind you of what your dream home looks like. When you see similar products or things for sale in stores or online, then you can start purchasing those things and create your dream home right now. Step number eight is create a style vignette. A vignette is a collection of items that creates a focal point. I use these a lot of the times on tables or dressers to create a nice little decor focal point in the house. Now a style vignette is a vignette that reflects your style. So in order to do this, I want you to look around your home and find decor that you really like and reflects the style and the feel that you are going towards and wanting to use to create your own personal style. Place these items on display on a counter or a table and take a picture of them. Now, if you have a side table or entry table, you can keep these items there as part of your decor. But I want you to keep this picture and save it in your phone and use it to refer back to. This again is inspiration for the type of style that you want to start creating throughout the rest of your house. This is something that I did on a side table in our living room. I set it up the way that I wanted it and then took a picture of it and then started incorporating that type of style and coloring and feel throughout my decor in the rest of the house. And remember, it's okay to not have one set style. Embrace the different style elements that you like and you enjoy from the different styles that you find to create your own personal home decor style. As I mentioned in the beginning, I have a free course called the Color Palette Crash Course, which teaches you the exact steps that you need in order to create a whole home color palette and start decorating a home you'll love. To get it, just click on the first link down below in the description. That will take you to a page where I ask for your name and email address. Just pop in your name and email, that way I know where to send it. I am also working on a course for new homeowners to help you take your home from empty to expertly decorated. So if you're ready to take the next steps to create a home you'll love, you'll find the link to the Design Your Dream Home course down below in the description as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.